Let's be a fun one tonight. Kickoff is returnable. Murphy at the goal line. Slips one arm tackle and gets half of the 25. And let's take a look at Josh. They rush just four. It's a screen. McMillan will be trapped right there. Nothing doing. And so a three and out for Virginia Tech. And showing across the board. Blitz. They pick it up. Downfield throw. Jump ball. Catch made. Right away, one of those 50-50 balls, and it's Ray Ray McLeod who... Again, they pick up pressure. That is thrown for Renfro, who makes a catch inside the five. Move him around. He's in the inside, works to the outside, and he's got matched up against Terrell Edmonds. Look at him get the separation, and again, a perfect strike by Kelly Bryant. Throwing that ball. Wait. Goal. Feaster stacked up. If you want to puncture this crowd atmosphere and quiet things down, a drive like this, exactly what the Tigers wanted. Yeah, three and out. Find Hunter Renfro, who's up at the top. Ryan from the pocket. Has time. Delivers across the middle. In and out of the hands of Deion Kane. And the penalty is costly. And the Hokies defense makes a stand. Here comes the field goal team. He's in the win over BC last week. And he's able to knock it through for 23. So the Tigers take good field position, move it 47 yards in 10 plays, and take the lead in one. Hokies don't blitz. Bryan has time and has a wide open Feaster. Feaster racing to the end zone. They forgot about the tailback, and he makes him pay. 60 yards. And Clemson stretches the lead skills too. Oh, he can go. And when you put him out there in the open field like that, as you said, on the road, inner Sandman, in Blacksburg, no problem. Jackson throws it, and it's incomplete. Tanner Muse was covering the tight end, Chris Cunningham, and the penalty costly for the Hokies, fourth down again. Hokies don't blitz. And Bryant steps up, trying to run for it. Slides down across the 30. They'll mark him. It looks just short. I'm going to motion the tight end over. Speed McMullen. That is just not open for business. No. The middle is clogged tonight. Dan Phillips, the top receiver, finally gets involved and makes a catch, and they'll finally move the sticks at the 45. 20 seconds of the quarter. Jackson immediately pressured, just has to unload it, and it's tipped and incomplete. Tried to get it. They feed the fake to Etienne. Bryant keeps it on the edge, and Kelly Bryant spun around. It's almost all of the 20 yards on what will be the final play of the first quarter by Tavian Feaster. On second and short, they feed Etienne, who shows his strength. And five empty backfield. Bryant will be dropped short of the first down as Tim Settle, a big nose tackle, who goes 335. Spires gets a nice boot away and drives him back inside the 15. And here comes a flag as Stroman turns the corner, will be knocked down at the 20. A couple of flags are out. Got to be an illegal block. Yeah, Donis Alexander has been suspended the last two games. Attacking through the air. It's a screen. And Phillips is battling for yards. They'll spot him a yard short. And there's Farrell out there letting him know. He, he feels like... He was, quote, cussed out by the Hokies coach. And Feaster scored the touchdown earlier in the reception back in the game, but Bryant's keeping it. And he's just able to navigate to the edge and spins free. What a running quarterback this guy is. And feed Feaster and burst up the middle. Moves the ball inside the 40. And try to convert on third and three. And he is going to take off. Hokies do a good job corralling him, but he's got the strength to get the first down. How about that. Ryan looking to throw for it on third down and airmails it way over the head of Kane from 41. 
Will Sweeney, the coach's son, is the holder, and this one is pushed. Never had a chance. It's wide right. And midway through the second quarter, delay to McMillan. And he gets a running start and trade by McMillan into the secondary, spinning and twisting inside the Clemson 30. Best one else to have to. He had a dozen catches against them in the ACC championship game, just two so far. Now this is Carroll on the end around. He has slammed down hard. Pressure. Jackson escapes, flips it short. That's Dalton Keene, the true freshman H-back. A very short gain to the 25. Ford here, three minutes before halftime, and he's able to knock it through. He's a terrific kickoff man. He's been a little bit erratic. C.J. Fuller, who was in the training tent briefly, is back in the ball game. There's a throw across the middle. Kane's got it, and he's got space. And Deion Kane trapped at the 35-yard line by Terrell. Pressure up the middle. Bryant sidesteps the rush so artfully. Gets a block on the edge and skates out of bounds near the 20. Bryant, again, far side. Single coverage. Kane working free. Kane diving. Touchdown, Clemson. And Fuller behind a two tight end look. Able to hammer straight ahead for the touchdown. Now for the Hokies down by 14 here. They flip it to Phillips. Let's see if he can make a play. He's been bracketed and well covered all night. Does get out near the 40. The attacks trying to manufacture. They got to manufacture about 30 yards to get in reasonable field goal range over the middle. It's Phillips who's loose. And a completion to the 40. Tanner Muse stopped him. They roll the pocket. Jackson looking, looking, delivers over the middle. Catch made. It is a first down. Eric Kuma, just his second catch of the season. And that was good earlier from 43. Slight angle. To make it an 11 point halftime lead. And it is going to slide wide right. So no good. Threw it for 176. This is end around and drag and slam down as Amari Rogers, the freshman receiver. So a, a nice play by Mook Reynolds. They bring pressure off the edge. Ryan will be sacked. Adonis Alexander off the corner, and it's fourth down. This match gives you a little bit more of an advantage on play calling. Well, on second and five, they'll run it again. And the ball comes out. Clemson says they've got it. It's a scrum. McMullen dropped the football. Dorian O'Daniel looks like he's at the bottom of that pile. It is the Knights' first turnover. And McMillan has had a little bit of a fumble problem at times in his career. Exactly what the Hokies did not need. They're still fighting for that football. Tight man-to-man -man from Virginia Tech. On third and fourth, Bryan is, is running all the way. And he just... Finds a tight little crease there, gets through, shows the strength, moves the sticks inside the 40. See the defense takes away, you go the other direction. Feaster, nope, they fake it to him. Bryant converts the third down, and a lot more still rumbling down inside the 10. Number two, Kelly Bryant. Terrell Edmonds saved the touchdown. Style, but still obviously very effective. Bryant still got the football, was looking to throw, and now he's going to circle around, still spinning free, trying to make something of this. Still going, still going back down inside the five. That's a very exciting short game. That's third and goal from the four instead of third and goal from the 20. Bryant's got it again. Trying to pick his way to the corner. It'll be knocked down just short. Reggie Floyd, the rover, saved a touchdown. Fourth and goal now. Feaster, touchdown Clemson. Not really a gamble the way they've been running the football, but yes, Clemson does. In fact, it's very efficient in the first four games, but a big step up in competition. They pick it to Savoy, and there's a nice throw in the seam. And a completion out of the backfield is Deshaun McLeese up near midfield. Pressure the quarterback in cover. Ryan Carter in coverage. Finds, locates the football, knocks it away. Showing a little pressure here on third and three. They do bring the blitz. Jackson delivers incomplete. 
It was intended for Cam Phillips, and again, Ryan Carter in coverage, but the quarterback got hit. is changing his call defensively. It's a quick throw to the edge, oh, but Savoy, the freshman, just turns right back into Austin Bryant, and the defensive end makes a huge play. Noyes make it tough on this play. Ryan has good protection. It's a downfield throw. Looking for Renfro. Incomplete. The ball hung up there. Gave a chance for Dion Newsom, yeah, the whip linebacker, I to mean, come back. A, again, he throws the deep ball. Deshaun McLeish, tailback. Here's a downfield throw. Carroll's out there. He's got it. Little slot receiver takes a big shot, but a nice throw. And the Hokies are into Clemson territory. Pressure comes again from the pocket. Across the middle. Phillips almost stumbled. Still running. Stiff arm battling, but chased down by O'Daniel. Pretty, It'll be fourth down. Pretty good hands. Slant again. Wide open is Henry Murphy. And Murphy gets the first down. They still can't pen him in. He squirts out into the red zone. Much needed. Linebacker, and it frees up. Murphy to come underneath where there's nobody. Great recognition. Good job by Josh Jackson sitting in there, getting the ball out of his hands quickly. Runs a 4-4 that is playing linebacker at Clemson. And really, with Ben Bulwer moving on, has become one of the leaders of this defense. Well, we thought they might see that play. They lose eight. And now it's Phillips spinning down inside the 15. Tigers bring pressure again. Jackson will be dropped. There's no chance. That was Isaiah Simmons flying in. With Austin Bryant ends up dropping. Here's the blitz that actually ends up getting there. Watch how he delays Simmons. Nobody can pick him up. But Sly is one for two. Comes on for a 38-yarder. And it's a fake. And Clemson is all over it. Sensing that maybe a field goal to cut it to 18 wasn't what they were doing. ETN out of the backfield. Bryant was looking that way briefly, but he's going to be sacked. Trayvon Hill off the edge. Looking to his left. Look at the coverage. Great job of matching up, taking it away. Fourth quarter. Tigers need 17 on third down. And Bryant to Kane. It's incomplete. And a foot on the back shoulder. Stroman in coverage. And here comes a punt. Monkeys have not often come off after a punt tonight. It's a very low kick. Stroman hustles up, makes the catch on the run. Stroman turning the corner and taking it into the house. No, he's tackled inside the five. A saving tackle there. Tremendous effort by Isaiah Simmons. Stroman thought he was going to score. I did too. But the big return sets him up inside the five. Getting up on it. He's very deep. But watch him full sprint, catches the ball and running downhill. And that, the, you know, the, the coverage team, I think, not ready to deal with him running that fast. The progressive pylon cam where he just comes up a little bit short. You've got Keen, the H-back in the backfield. This is Savoy on the end around. He'll score. Tech's first touchdown tonight. They take it to Feaster. Bryant throws across the middle, looking for Kane on the yeah. slant. Here comes the flag. Bryant takes off and is going to be hit. Stop short. Tremaine Edmonds won that battle, and it's fourth down. Wow. Second and ten. Incomplete. No intercepted. Swipe by Dorian O'Daniel, who's going to take it back by Henry Murphy and the linebacker was right there to pick it out of the air and take it to the end zone. Ball gets thrown out there. It's actually a really well thrown ball, but again, you just don't have any margin of error against this defense. Bobbles the ball. Or high school. Sacked. Oh, I mean, every time he dropped back to throw, he got hit. Comes back this time, gets it in the place in the backfield. I love when you asked him that. It's much deeper. More elite players, but a lot more just excellent college football players, too. They flip it underneath here. This is Coleman Fox, one of the young guys, getting a chance to make a play. He spins up across the 40. It'll be fourth down. And they back out. Only rush three. Jackson takes off, tries to spin, takes a hard hit right 
at the 45. It'll be close. Three-man rush again. Jackson plenty of time in the pocket. Now he'll just roll out. Flip it short. And the catch is made again by Fox. And Bowman Fox, the guy we've not seen a lot of this year, getting a chance against this. And they flip it high. Coming down with it is Fox. And that was looped just over Austin Bryan. He's been playing all over the place tonight. And nine. And just a three-man rush over the middle. It's complete. Phillips trying to make a couple men miss. Battles. Good job spinning down near the 31. He moved to six again. They pick it to Fox. And it's intercepted. Athletic play by Austin Bryan, who just is tremendously skilled player out there. Amley loves the area. Hey, I don't, I don't think he's going to leave. ATN is going to be hit and knocked for a loss. So the young freshman has not been able to show his electric speed tonight. Coming up soon, Georgia Tech could be an interesting okay. game. Always interesting to play Paul Johnson's team. Jackson backpedals, puts it short. Fox is going to be hammered and knocked down by the backup middle backer, Chad Smith. And there, the star is enjoying it. A lot of places. Third and 12, and there's a delayed handoff. Fox trying to pick in his way and navigating for a first down. So a guy who had done very little in the first four games comes in here. And, and they are going to be expected to be Florida State and Tallahassee on Saturday by a lot of people. And that's a team that hasn't won a big game in a long time. But how good did Miami look last night? They looked good. They're you, you like seven and 